Okay. Many of you will remember a few years ago when Pardew was at West Ham, right? Randomly out of the blue from nowhere, Tevez and Mascarano turned up at Upton Park as players for a season. I think it was only the one season. I can't fully remember, to be honest. So, what if the similar sort of thing happened to Pardew again? He's at Crystal Palace, okay? And in on loan, come a couple of pretty well-known guys in the shape of Cristiano Ronaldo. Right? And Leo Messi. Now, I just need to uh, add myself so we can uh, view the stats and all that crap. I'll just add myself as unemployed. Whatever. Whatever. So, we're in, okay? And uh, let's just sort this out, get this out of the way. Get a bit of a better contrast in the background then. That's better. So, Crystal Palace have taken Ronaldo and Messi on loan. I know, bizarre. But we've got to that point now of FM where it's it's running to a bit of a close for a lot of people. Uh, I haven't been able to... Uh, I haven't had... I love FM still, and I love this game, and I've been playing it offline, but <clears throat> I haven't been able to carry on doing the videos like I would have liked to with the play-alongs and the playthroughs and stuff. <laughs> But uh, I thought this idea just popped into my head uh, when I was laying in bed for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. So I thought, let's do it. So we're going to go with Crystal Palace have loaned Ronaldo and Messi for a season. What impact will it have on them? And uh, where will they indeed finish come the end of the season? They are expected to finish 17th. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump ahead to uh, just after the January transfer window, see who they've brought in, see if the fact they've got Ronaldo and Messi on loan, who can't be recalled, by the way. Um, they've got them on loan. Will that entice other big-name players to come? And will it have a profound effect on Crystal Palace's lead position? Or will it kind of backfire on Pardew like it did with uh, Tevez and Mascarano? Let's find out, shall we? Right, so the question is, has it helped Crystal Palace at all? No. <laughs> to put it bluntly, so far, it hasn't. Messi's in the most uh, player of the match awards at the very top. But as you'll notice, uh, as well as the average rating, and that is it. Him and Ronaldo are not in anything else. But... But, but, but... <laughs> They are in the goals. Ronaldo's got 18 in all competitions. Uh, 11 in the league, 7 in the cup, and 2 at international level. You have to excuse the sniffling, it's the bloody A for you a season. And um, Ronnie has got 7 in the league, 3 in the cup, 4 at international level. But other than that, they are not helping Palace at all. They're 19th. But look at Messi's... Uh, He's getting involved in the goals. Messi and Ronaldo scoring on a couple of occasions together as well. Um, but they, yeah, they seem to be struggling. They beat Arsenal thanks to Messi. They beat Chelsea thanks to Messi. Uh, won all with Wolves, then beat them. So they're through to the Capital One Cup final against Man City thanks to uh, Messi and Ronaldo and Dwight Gale and co. Um, <clears throat> FA Cup, they're out to West Brom. But they could win... They could win a trophy at least. So that's something. Transfer wise, holy moly. Let's have a look at the history. So Martin Olsen's come in. Uh, Patrick McNair on loan and George Cooper from Crew. Um, out wise, Joel Ward has gone to Southampton. But that's it. McCarthy's gone on a free. There's not really a lot gone on. It's, uh, it's a bit disappointing for them, really. And a bit disappointing in, in terms of uh, what Messi and Ronaldo could do for them. 
I'm not gonna lie, I am surprised. I thought that uh, the firepower from the two alone, along with you know Zahar and a few of the other players, had really kicked them on, but it, it really hasn't. I've given Binny and Williams a, a run out. That's good. That's pleasing to see. But anyway, guys, let's skip ahead to the end and see now if Messi and Ronaldo can, one, help them win the Capital One Cup, and two, stop them from getting relegated. So, did they manage to stay up? They did. Their media prediction was 17th. They finished 17th. Messi and Ronaldo finish with 16 goals for Ronaldo on 39 appearances and 25 goals for Messi after 44 appearances. Average rating of 8.06, Ronaldo 7.59. As far as the Premier League is concerned, Ronaldo finished with the most man of the match awards and the average rating. Ronaldo didn't come in anywhere. Neither of them got into the top goal scorers. Troy Deeney, funnily enough, finishing top goal scorer in the Premier League. Um, Villa qualifying for Europe. <clears throat> in terms of what did they do in the final against Manchester City? Where's it gone? Why is it do? Why does it always do that? They are, oh, damn, they lost on penalties. That's a shame. What a damn shame, they lost on penalties. <laughs> Lee Chung Young got the goal there, though. Well, that's a real shame. But, just in this really pointless and just, you know, bit of fun video, the question was, would Messi and Ronaldo drastically improve Crystal Palace? The answer is no, they wouldn't. They do okay playing together. They get a lot of goals, a lot of assists, a lot of, you know, they, they, they do quite well together in the same team. But overall, they, they didn't really make much of a difference apart from the goals. Their goals, I suppose you could argue, to be fair, their goals kept them up. You know, they probably contributed more they did contribute more goals than anybody in the team so it was their goals that kept them up but if Messi and Ronaldo hadn't been playing would one of the other players at the club have been able to have done the same quite possibly quite possibly but we'll never know it's all fictitious it's a magical mystical world that only exists now on my computer and YouTube Thanks so much for watching, guys, this really pointless project. Uh, I hope you gained something from it and uh, found it quite interesting just to have a look and see what would happen or what could happen, you know, if it happened in real life. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.